everyone, Stephanie here. So today's video is gonna be a quick tutorial on hair and makeup if you have like 10 minutes to get ready and you know you want to do your hair and um, put on some makeup and to look more awake. So I mean I'm just gonna put this disclaimer out. I know some people are like why would you know if you're in a rush why even bother putting on makeup? For me personally if I'm in a rush I won't put on makeup I'll just go. But there are people who prefer to have makeup on or they're, if they have a job which requires them to actually get dolled up. So like if they work in retail, um, if they work in a bar, maybe they work the front desk at an office, you know, they're required to have their hair put together and to look refreshed. So, um, and when I was waitressing at a couple of places, it was required for us to have makeup on so this is for them or if you just like wearing makeup I mean I just want to put that out there because I've gotten a couple of comments of why wear that much makeup so the first thing we're gonna go do is go ahead and get our hair wet and you're gonna want to make sure to towel dry it then we're gonna use a good sized portion of mousse so um, I'm using the got to be kinkier double curling power lost in the fine curling mousse to set my hair and um, should I have some body pins head? And then um, we're gonna go and put on our makeup. So for as far as the makeup is concerned, you're just gonna wanna wash your face and put on moisturizer and then we'll get started with a quick and easy way to do your makeup. So um, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, so if you've watched any of my recent previous uh, makeup tutorial videos, you're gonna see that for moisturizer, I use the Physician's Formula, the, it's the Extra Rich Rehydrating Moisturizer. I love this. You can go ahead and use whatever you use as a moisturizer. But you're gonna go ahead and put that all over your face before we start. So for my hair, I prefer to use the um, flat paddle brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this comb to just separate my hair. This is the part that I'm going to leave in a bump. When you're putting in the bobby pins to secure this um, French twist, you're going to go ahead and as you're grabbing the hair, you're going to go in like this so the um, zigzag part is on top and then when you flip it, the zigzag part will be on the bottom. So that's actually the correct way to use a, to wear a bobby pin. And you're just going to pin it until you get it to secure the way you want. give my hair a little bit more of a, a tousled look, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of grab the hair that's there and kind of lift it up and just bobby pin it so that it looks more full up here as opposed to just falling down. And then once your hair dries, the mousse in there is going to help it, um, if you have straight hair, it'll help your hair look wavy, so kind of like um, beachy waves, but if your hair is curly like mine, when your, my hair finally dries, it'll start to look really curly. Okay, so now we're moving on to the makeup portion of this. So I just kind of want to point out, if it's not already obvious, that if you're in a rush, that is not the time to figure out which uh, makeup products you want to use. 
or that works for you. So um, make sure that you pick out the ones that you do like and you already have that as your to go to in case of emergency and you're just in a rush. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a concealer. So you want to conceal, conceal, conceal. Neutralize any redness, cover up any dark circles, any scarring, things like that. And then you're going to want to use a dewy foundation. So the dewy foundation has more of like this luminous glow and um, it helps you look more refreshed as opposed to a matte foundation. And then we're going to set it lightly with, um, we're going to use a light powder to set the foundation. Now, we're not going to contour because contouring does take a bit of time and I'm just going to go ahead and use blush. Now for your blush, you should actually opt for more of like a rosy blush color with some gold undertones and that'll counteract any like blue tones in your under eye circles and you want to avoid like orange toned blushes. So a good universal blush to use is the NARS Orgasm uh, Multiple Stick. And that's because it's a peachy pink and it's like flecked with like gold sparkles in it and it makes like almost anyone look vibrantly like beautiful. So that's a good one to um, invest some money in. So next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and shape my eyebrows. So having, you know, nicely shaped arches, it actually makes your eyes appear larger and then it draws attention away from like puffy eyes or dark under eye circles. And if you don't know what shade you are, just opt for a taupe shade. Um, and it's because it's the most universal shade. So the last thing I really emphasize is to curl your lashes and put on mascara. Nothing looks more feminine or opens your eye better than um, like awesome looking lashes. If you're one of those people and you have to wear eyeliner, but you wanna look more awake, what I would recommend is using a dark color eyeliner and then on top of that putting like a vibrant color eyeliner so maybe like an emerald green or a royal blue and then on the bottom if you need to put um, eyeliner under it you're gonna want to do if you do a black eyeliner then on the inside you're gonna want to line your uh, waterline with like a nude color um, eyeliner pencil as opposed to white because white doesn't look natural it looks kind of unrealistic but I would opt for a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my makeup right now and then you guys can follow along. So there's two extra things I'm gonna do and this is just me personally, you don't need to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a face primer. And I love this um, this primer from Sephora's. It's a luminous primer. So if you, if you actually get this, I don't know if you can see, it's sparkly and it actually you know makes your face look more radiant, which kind of what I'm going for right now. So I'm going to put that all over my face. And then I'm also going to get this um, lip crayon from Revlon. And this is Just Bitten Kissable in 015 Cherish. So. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal with my MAC NC35 concealer. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation, which I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match. And that I'm going to apply with my makeup sponge. I can't as far as blush goes, I'm going to use my NARS The Multiple Stick in Napoli Coast. And this is, you know, it's a like a shimmery um, rose peach color and it's gold and like bronze shimmered um, reddish bronze with like strong warm undertones so it looks really pretty and I'm just gonna go ahead and press this against my skin and kind of just rub it in with my hands and now that I have my blush on I'm gonna go ahead and set uh, my makeup with this um, pore putty uh, mineral loose powder I'm going to use my Wet n Wild um, Ultimate Brow Kit and this is the one in Ash Brown. Then I'm going to use my mascara from Jordana, it's the Best Lash Extreme. 
gonna go ahead and put two coats of that. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on a quick and easy hair and makeup tutorial. You know, and it's basically more of a natural look. Um, if you're in a rush or if you just want to look more wide awake, um, this is perfect for you. Please like, subscribe, ask questions, leave comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. All I